I'm going to get started with Hudson right now and we are going to be doing a program called the Night Zookeeper. I already did this with Miles and I will add a clip in later for what we did with Miles. But Hudson is going to get started with signing up. We already have a name for Hudson and his is Fuzzy Impala Impl 87. So that is his username. And then uh, you have to be able to put in a password. So when you sign up, you will create all of this on your own. We have a link down below and you guys can get $5 off this program. But I'm going to get him signed up and then we will show you what you need to do to get started. So it says, your first challenge is to draw yourself wearing a night suit keeper uniform. So when you go into this, you can click that and then start by picking out the color, then select a brush. Don't be afraid to have fun and experiment. So I'm going to show him how to do things. So you can pick your brush size here. And then if you want just to outline things, you would just use this. And then if you want to fill in things, you're going to press here. Here's your eraser area and then your color and stuff here. And then you can switch this over to color mixing and uh, color mixing off. So I'm going to have Hudson draw his person. It right now, but it comes with a story and you guys can watch that. We did that with Miles. Um, and then go to your zoo. And then it's going to tell you, okay, like um, family night zoo is mine. And then it's going to want you to um, create your uh, go into the egg. So click on that if it lets you. Um, yep. Okay, so then you're going to want to create it. Go into creating it. Okay, so then um, it just gives you instructions on how to do it. And now you need to, okay, it says I just spotted an animal hiding in the trees. And then I kind of went over this with Miles. Um, it's pink and it's covered in pink and yellow spots. So you need to draw something with pink and yellow drop dots or spots. Wait, do I have to have to? Yep, that's, so something pink and yellow. What it does is give you the imagination. So it's giving you ideas to follow so that you don't have to think of things. So this is my animal I made. Okay, now go to the next, yep, save it. What an amazing animal, I can't wait to learn more about it. Hello Fuzzy Impala. 87 what's my name so you need to name your character that you made Is that, and then click mm -hmm. this okay it says your annual report fishy wings is an engineer fishy wings works in an aquarium so here you're able to fix the spelling. My animal works with Elmo. So you can either get more orbs by um, creating more words to your paragraph and you can save it. So do done and then save draft. And then you'll go to the main screen. Okay. And then it says, thank you so much for creating me. I love my new home. And then go to there. You can play games with fishy, fishy wings, wings and write stories. And earn, yep. Um, okay, so this is the main screen. So you can do your zoo, write games, lessons, blog projects, and messages, like episodes and stuff like that. He, or lessons, he will learn. And then he can write over here. He can do challenges. And then here's games and projects. I'm gonna go into projects because we didn't go into there with Miles. Hello, and welcome to Night Zookeeper Projects. Do you like Minecraft, Roblox, Animal Crossing, oh, yeah. how about Star Wars? Roblox. Or whatever you like. 
Nine Zookeeper Projects is the place for you. There are thousands of projects here waiting for your ideas. Maybe you want to write a piece of fan fiction set in the world of Harry Potter or a match report about your favorite sports team. Maybe you want to share some helpful tips on the latest switch. Okay, so he has to unscramble the mixed up sentence. So he needs to put that in order. Um, some of the other ones that he had to do is fill in certain like adjectives and verbs in other sentences. And they had something similar to this where there was like a sentence up here and then he would have to pull one of these up into the sentence. So this one's a little bit different. So I'm assuming that it's gonna highlight as you get it right. There we go. We're going to learn how to use adverbs to start your sentence. Okay, press next. Was this the TV one that you clicked into? Yeah. Okay. Press next. Yesterday, I used my spine skills to help the night zoo. Far away, there is a lighthouse on a cliff. Suddenly, all of my friends arrived to help. Okay, so you have to click on the bubble. Okay. Um, next. Press next. Mm -hmm. Always put a comma after the fronted adverbal. Oh, these are just clues. Okay. Uh, words like underneath, nearby, and here can help you set the place. Okay, so I'm working with Declan right here. And he needs me to help him with the, um, this program a little bit more than the other kids. Oops. Because um, he's younger. So collect all the verbs, it says. So we got to do easy and press play. And then it says tap anywhere to start. So you want to tap somewhere to start? Have you played this one? Have you played this one? Hudson? Have you played this one? Ah, what? Yes. So are they all verbs? No, you just have to click the ones that are. I don't know. So I just Two. did random. <laughs> oh, and then it kind of tells you if you did it wrong. And then you got three. What is it? No, yep, got that. Took. What is it doing? It's for knitting. Oh no, that was it was one. Ah no. Yeah, it wouldn't be muddy. Made. 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 Live. Is what? Uh oh. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys are interested in joining up for the night zookeeper i have a link down below and you guys can get five dollars off to join and if you guys are unsatisfied you can um just let them know and they will um discontinue your subscription so if you guys are interested it's really fun the kids are having a lot of fun with it and with it being a learning thing the kids like going on there and playing with that so so we are kind of tying it in with our homeschool days and that teaches Hudson, Miles, and Declan some sentence structure and spelling and doing all that. All right, so hopefully you guys like today's video. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.